Hello everyone and welcome back here at the Patreons, Smazza Bazza and Brady Burns as the Super Patreons and Bellywash as our regular but still loved Patreon. Uh, in our last episode we defeated uh, the Lake Salamander of Death, I guess you would say. Uh, and now Leon is having a, a hallucination. Technically this is happening inside his body, but um, god, it always is unpleasant whenever you see that. Like, you see that, and it's like, wow, this game actually has a lot of horror elements to it. But then you remember that the rest of the gameplay is you shooting someone in a leg, kicking them, and then suplexing them. And then you're like, oh. As always, Hunnigan is ready to tell us to move, get a move on. It's been six hours since our last transmission. What have you been doing? Jacking off? Yes, it was just moment. one. She's like, oh, anyway, I well, to really? Feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm gonna continue my mission. I just love how it's like obviously his like like yeah, you know, he's a super agent basically. Like he he should be fine. But I love how it's just like, yep, you're fine. It feels like, uh, you know, school nurses and stuff. Anonymous le letter. There's an important item uh, hidden in the falls. If you're able to get to it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church isn't a walk in the park by any means. They've deployed what is called a El Degante. So God bless uh, about what's going to happen to your body. If only I could help you, I would. But uh, fortunately, it's beyond my power. I believe that is actually Luis Sierra who uh, gives you that note. Um, which is actually really cool. Um, this is more useful than this. Yes. Um, we'll then save it again because we may as well. I'm gonna move this mic a little bit more back. Um, but yeah. So it's really weird. Uh, I'm recording these. I'm like, how many of these should I record? Um, because obviously this is a, P a PS4 game. Um, so, I've now removed my Switch. One thing I will say... This fucking took a shotgun to the face. So I guess you can't go in the water, so that was probably a worthless shot. But, um... Let's look at the map. So the merchant's up there if we want to go up there. Otherwise the main quest is down there. Yet again, I wanna actually kill that. I think you just can't kill that fish. Yes! They can. I just wanted to know if we could. Uh, there we go. We'll go get the merch and the real uh, high five. Yet again, I love how there's fire everywhere to like illuminate your path a bit. I feel like that makes this uh, feel really cool. And this is a really good use of uh, things, making it so then it's a cutscene, so then it's easier for you to get in. Uh, and then just like there's a fucking artillery shell here for no reason. Are you gonna give Leon the big gun? What the fuck's going on? Um, do we have the ability to do this? No, we don't. Um, so I guess we will quickly talk to you. 
got some rare. What are so you buying? no new things yet still. What are you selling? Hmm. Yeah, I guess at this point we can't really get much. So that's all ammo for the pistol. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's nothing here, Sally. But I do like that that's a thing. Uh, just in case you need to stock up. Uh, you can go there after this segment uh, that we're going to be going to now as well. Which is also nice. Because, uh, you know. Yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll have to use our big fish. And then we'll get another fish. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the rifle is good for one of the things that... Actually, no, I'm going to be super ballsy. I think this is going to be the first time we see the uh, last Plagas. Um, so I am going to elect... Yeah, I remember this. I remember playing this on the iPad. There's an iPad version of this game. Um, and level 3 or so was this, you'd be introduced to this. And this is actually such a fucking sick thing. Yet again, Body Hoa is really fucking cool in this game. Um, and I think unironically, the Body Hoa aspect of this game uh, is really what makes it special to uh, a lot of people. 5,000 pesetas, which is, that's a very fair amount for because if you don't know about the flash grenade insta kill, those can actually be very difficult to kill. Um, so I do like how you're actually really well rewarded uh, for your time. I don't. Okay. One thing that is crazy is you do have to remember the fact that it is funny to how this game and Super Mario Sunshine are going to be played at the same time. But, um, these, like, Sumo Sunshine and this game basically came out at around the same time. Which is crazy when you think about it. Okay, so we're gonna have a look see around. There's enemies to kill. While we cannot be harmed. Ah, oh, there's one there. Never say that you can't do something. If you really put your mind to it, you can always have the like, you know, the lines aligned. It looks so much. I think it's just because it's on the smaller screen, so it has like a smaller resolution. But it looks so much better on my like Streamlabs OBS. But um. That was really fucking sick that we killed that guy. And we got some more rifle ammo. Awesome. Some more TMP, that's really good as well. Um, I guess we have extra room now, so we may as well take this handgun ammo. I think we're going to use the handgun right now, because we have a lot of ammo for it. Um, and the TMP can be used. To shoot things out of the, uh, like, you know, out of the environment. I do like this kind of pseudo puzzle that they have. So the puzzle is basically that uh, we need to have these three things. Uh, basically drop at a good time. 
like so. Um, because behind this waterfall is the thing that we need. Uh, I think that enemies don't come out until you've finished it. Uh, which I do like. I like puzzles should be self-contained. Uh, it's really hard for a game like Resident Evil 4 to do puzzles. Not like do puzzles, but have puzzles feel fun without like just, you know, putting 20 million enemies in the way. Um, I think in the later ends of the game as well, a lot of the puzzles are just puzzles to kill enemies. There we go. And then this powers all of this shit. Which then allows all this shit to happen. Which then, I think, closes the Saluce Gate. Uh, which then changes the direction. So then there's not as much water coming down here, so then we can go in. Which is really cool, that's a really awesome environmentally based puzzle. Good job, Resident Evil 4. Uh, I do think it's in level 2. That we do get one of the hardest challenges for me. Oh, fuck no. Um, so we're gonna have to just... Have some fun. So we're just gonna incinerate those guys, uh, and then we're just gonna fucking run past the rest of them. Uh, we might just uh, also equip our pistol yet again, just because we can. Take the round insignia, we got the round insignia. Is this a roundabout way of getting back? Hopefully. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. Like, literally, in in game, six hours ago, she was like, Get a move on! And now she's like, Okay, but uh, please, uh, please get there. And then there's just randomly a boat for us to take. Um, okay. Thank God this is in, uh... Code Veronica, where all the bats fucking hate you. And yet again, thank god. Like, the controls are alright, but just not the best. And yet again, I think we just get shipped off to, uh... Oh, we get put into this area, that's really nice. Um, do you have anything for us this time, though? No, apparently not. However, we can tune up... Oh, we can tune up the Punisher now. That's actually really fucking good. Um, I don't think... I think we'll use a different... Uh, we'll use a different one. Um, capacity or firepower. Um, we'll see if we can sell anything. What are you selling? Team Piano. Um... I guess we'll sell this for now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we'll then tune up the shotgun. Is that all uh, to have extra firepower. So it's now four and a half sh uh, pistol bullets worth of damage, which is really good in my opinion. But yeah, when it comes to the dip, like when it comes to like the idea of like. Oh, which game would you rather play? Like, uh, Resident Evil 1 Remake or this? Um, it's kind of weird because when you don't think of this as a Resident Evil game, like if you didn't play Resident Evil 2, uh, if you played Resident Evil 1 Remake and then played this, it would be like, oh, this is a really cool transition, like everything is really cool. Um, but once you have that knowledge of Resident Evil, it becomes like, oh, Ooh, rifle ammo. Uh, I think this is the... Let's look at the map before we make decisions. Yeah, so that's literally to where we were just. Um, so, see that star? 
actually we we missed some treasure. We might actually go back for that. You no, know we're gonna we're gonna go back for that. Money good. Uh, and it also means that we can use our power shotgun a lot more. Yes, I am here. Thank you. Whew. Um, I think we will now equip uh, the sniper rifle and use that for a little bit to take out these guys. Just because it will be a little bit uh, better for us. Man, I fucking love sniper rifles in Resident Evil games. They're never the best weapon, but they're always the most fun. Because, like, especially in Revelations and Revelations 2, they're kind of the only weapons that ever put you in first person, uh, which makes them so much cooler. Like, the fact that Resident Evil is either over the shoulder or, you know, uh, fixed camera angles makes weapons like sniper rifles way more fun. Aha. Uh -huh. So, this boyo is actually an asshole. Um, so he was a lost plagus. Rifle ammo. Yeah, so Las Plagas enemies can now kind of just appear. Uh, and I think that's such a good uh, thing for this game. To be able to. Oh my god, look at his eyes in the fucking night. God. Man, it's so fucking jarring. I love it. Like, this type of atmospheric horror is great. Like, the body horror and the atmosphere working together is really fucking good. Yet again, we're trying to uh, just get a bunch more shotgun ammo as well. Hey, these are restocked. Take the chicken egg. There's nothing down there. If you're getting really good at the game, uh, they'll oftentimes spawn a bunch of snakes in barrels and shit. Oh, there's another guy here. Goodbye. But, um,. Like, we, we are doing good, but uh, we did have a bit of a hiccup, so the difficulty probably went down a little bit more. Yeah, get this guy in here. Oh, damn. Blocking a bullet does work, guys. That's actually rather interesting. We'll take that handgun ammo. We will equip a handgun. <laughs> and at this point, uh, I thought there was two guys, but apparently there wasn't. We still have a lot of uh, pistol ammo that we can eat through. Uh, so this pistol also does a little bit less damage, but can hit two enemies at once. So in theory, you could get basically fucking hell. Fucking hell! These guys are no fucking joke. We're gonna do that, we're gonna equip this. We're gonna 
gonna do that. So these are Las Plagas infested wolves. Uh, this won't be the first, uh, the last time we see enemies like this in a Resident Evil game. Because doggos are almost always infected in a fucking Resident Evil game for some reason. Um, so we're gonna go do this. Um, and then we're gonna go do this. Um, and then we're just gonna keep this. So that was the way we went the first time. Oh. So if you go up here the first time, uh, you actually get a little cutscene showing you, uh, you know, showing enemies, uh, you know, throwing a body in the lake. Which then clues you in to there being something in the lake. Um, where is this treasure? Okay, so the treasure's on the secondary path. Ah, I see how he missed that. There you go. Ooh, that's a really good one as well. Thank God we went back for it. Okay. Um, other than that, is there anything else in particular we would want from here? I guess there's still that ammo. Which we could just take. The funny thing... Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. You can't come back to life. Unironically, that would be the scariest thing if you shot into that water. Uh, and then a dead, like, you know... Like, even something, like, way creepier. Like, could you imagine if, like, a hand, like, a really grotesque, like... Like, the question mark, question mark, question mark character from Zelda. Like, just the disembodied hand came out. I was just, and then just like grabbed you. Like how fucking scary would that be? And it would be like a little secret like thing as well. And it could even be like only if you go up there. On like that sec uh, that little like extra balcony or something. That it happens. Like just to make it a bit more scarier. So it's like holy shit. Like what? I think it would be really cool if there was like a lot of like little secrets like that. Where it was like really out of your way kind of horror moments because I feel like after after level set 2 the game isn't really horror based until a very long time basically at the end of the game and it's only yet again horror based because of one enemy um so I think it would have been a really good choice to have um these first two levels really be fucking terrifying. Because afterwards it's kind of more of just action hero game. Okay. So we've gone back there, we've encountered a few enemies honestly that we probably hadn't seen before. Um, let's just have a look-see and see if we're good on everything. We're not good on healing supplies, technically. Um, Oh, no, nah, we're good on healing supplies. <laughs> we have a fish. Um, we will go ahead and equip this, though. Okay, let's go into the fight. Whoa! What's going on? <laughs> is it is it OG night again? <laughs> I love the idea of, like... Leon being so desperate for sex. Because, like, he... Like, he asks out every single thing that's, like, partially, like, every woman type thing. This has to be one of the fucking sickest introductions of, like, a boss. Like, for this point. Like, just comes out, is mad, 
just absolutely decimating and just brutalizing every single enemy that you've had. Everything is scared. And then it sees you, you block a sing like you dodge a singular one of its hits, and then immediately it fucking goes apeshit. And it can do environmental shit as well. That fucking... The timing on that is so... Crazy thin. I think this is what we get for saving the dog. Yeah. The doggy! Hey, it's that dog. Didn't even fire the shot. Apparently, we did though. Um, so we're now all out of this ammo again. We're gonna go heal again. So green herb, uh, yellow herb in general, can confirm is the one that makes you uh, heal better. Grab this. A lot of fucking damage in. Before doing it again. And hopefully this is enough to just kill him. Yes it was! Okay. That was really good then. Like, the fact that we, uh, kind of damaged ourselves just to get that extra damage in. But yeah, it's so fucking, such a good introductionary fight. You have the dog to kind of help you out as well. Um, the intimidation's really there as well. The fact that you come in here, you kind of don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, then you kill this guy and then you're like, holy shit. Uh, I think like there's a lot of different layers to this fight that are really good. Uh, and it's also just a really good ammo sink to make sure that the uh, the player really, like, you know, uses uh, a lot of their ammo. Um, obviously, as well, um, you know, there's a lot of ammo nearby, and, you know, for this fight, you also get to have 
uh, a helper in the dog. Um, but I think it's a really well designed uh, experience. Um, it's like for this experience, like it's really well designed in my opinion. I don't think there's many people who would say that the first Al Gigante fight in this game is bad by any means. You're in a very closed arena. Um, everything is fucking crazy. Uh, and everything is like fun. Like that fight was pretty fun. There was quick time events that felt fair. Like of course, you know, the quick time event where he grabs you would make sense. Uh, cause he's so, so above your weight class, it would make sense that there is that type of thing. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a really good, uh, part of this game. Uh, and before, you know, shit hits the fan, so you have like, you know, you have the first boss where it's kind of a gimmick fight, uh, with, you know, uh, the monster of the lake, and then you have this fight where it's a lot less gimmicky, where it's really about, uh, you know, fighting someone way above your weight class in an actual 1v1 fight, but you do get the help of a doggo. Uh, which is obviously amazing. Got a selection of good things. What are you buying? Um... Oh. Is that... <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, that's awesome. Look at that firepower. I think the final upgrade you do to firepower actually like doubles its damage, which makes a, uh, which makes it go like makes the shotgun really fucking good. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna keep using the shotgun. The shotgun TMP we're definitely gonna be using. I think we're gonna try to go for the, the red nine as our pistol because that's just like the prettiest pistol in my opinion. We're still in 2-1, um, so I think that we're gonna ha uh, we'll end this episode when we get to 2-2. Two, two. Uh, the missions easily get longer as you go on, but um, yeah, should be a good romp. There shouldn't be too much left uh, for this. I really wish you could see the dog, and like you could just have like a little moment where you pet the dog or something. Like man, the fact that that uh, like I really like that boss. It's really well designed. The fact that he really interacts with the environment uh, is also really cool. And then yeah, this is like the first real trek back that you would be making uh, in this area, uh, which it feels it feels like you as a player you really accomplished something. Uh, I feel like this first, uh, maybe like this first two levels are really good. It's when you really get down to business and then it really becomes like a bunch of quick time events. Um, sprinkled in with like, oh fuck. I really wonder if, uh, Smile Dog, uh, I might put up an image on the screen. Oh my god. Fucking Christ. Do you mind? But I really wonder if Smile Dog was inspired um, by Resident Evil 4. Just the fact that those have like really snarly teeth. They look really matted and gross. Um, and everything like that. Uh, it really does feel like it fits the uh, kind of look of what Smile Dog was. Uh, I don't think there's any enemies here, so I think uh, it's just the puzzle. Which, this is, I really like this. So you've beaten a boss, you've done some other cool shit, and now you just get this moment. I think they do add enemies after. But it's definitely not as annoying uh, as it has been before. Yeah, okay, that's another one. You can get a secret, which I don't know if I really want to go for. Uh, it's pretty much you look up Ashley's skirt, and it doesn't really seem like that's something I really want to do that much. Um, 
I guess I'll just say that it's a thing you can do. Um, and then I'll just leave it there. Because it's not really a secret that I really want to be like, Oh, guys, look at this cool thing. Because it's not really that cool. It's gross. Not a really, th not a thing that people should really do. Mainly saying that I don't endorse it. Um, it's really funny how that he's saying that, Oh my god, Ashley must be here somewhere. Where it's, yeah, literally Ashley is there. Um... Okay. So you have to operate this then. Okay. Um... That one goes there. That one goes there. Yeah, there you go. A nice little color pu uh, puzzle. Like, yet again, it's a very simple puzzle, but I like how there is, like, that time to kind of do it. And we get introduced to, uh, potentially one of the most annoying, but also one of the Don't come. most no. endearing, uh, no. side characters who has boob physics, no. apparently. Get away. Oh yeah, down. she definitely does. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. It's so crazy that someone secure the ballistics. It's okay, Leon. game. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. I really wish there was a uh, raid mode esque things. Um. In which, um, so basically, we can have her follow and wait, and then we can do actions, uh, certain actions when uh, she's in position. Uh, she also has her own health bar, which can be uh, increased. Um, she'll try, she'll duck under your gunfire, so she's not dumb as bricks. Um,. Yeah. But, uh, she's cute. I like her a lot. Uh, I think it's because she has, uh, kind of the style I like, where it's like, I think if she was in more, I think her redesign is way better than this design, personally. I don't like the skirt. I think she would look way better with, like, some sort of really warm jacket. Um, like sleeved jacket and then like uh, either a way longer dress or just cut the dress and have like jeans. And I think that's what you do as well. Um, I think, yeah, the redesign for Ashley looks fucking incredible. I love it. I'll <laughs> the, the fucking girl. chandelier is fucking bugging out. If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine... He reminds me of every single Skyrim voice actor. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think Imagine him saying something forever. about the Force War. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but he doesn't even have teeth, Wall. I thought I might bargain with the president the for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money. To keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe That's I kind of the opposite. To tell you that we gave you the same gift when I was unconscious. 
Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. Then an awesome jumping out of the scene action movie esque moment. To us. Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. And there we go. We now have Ashley! Woo! She's on the screen as well. I really like this artwork. This artwork looks really nice. But yeah, that'll be the end of this episode. So I hope you all have a absolutely lovely day. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.